remove the blade from the princess's corpse and make your way back upstairs, Yay. closing the door to the basement behind you. You can think of it as sealing yourself off from an unpleasant chapter of your life. It's all uphill from here. Yeah. The windows. Do you see that? We used to be able to see the outside world from up here, but now it's just... Empty. Yeah, about that. The door. Check the door. Check the freaking door. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Fuck. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush. You don't have to act surprised. We could see this vast emptiness through the windows. Yeah. But if everything's gone. Does that mean we're not gonna get our reward? No. This is your reward. Wow. An eternity of bliss, if you'll have it. And I suggest that you have it. Okay. Yeah. This is what's best for everyone. Trust, Trust. me. Like hell it is. Bullshit. I was kind of hoping to get a better ending for saving the, saving the freaking world. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No, this is the beginning of eternity. Your reward, like I just told you. Great, now I'm the princess. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days, or months, or years. Decades? No, it can't be decades. We can't go along with this. We can't let him win. Yeah. Alright, uh... Play yourself. Oh, let's go. You goddamn spiteful bastard. Nah. Are you really going to turn down immortality itself just to make me lose? Hell yeah, fuck you. Why should it matter if we die at this point? Haven't you already gotten what you want? I don't have to answer that. That's all we needed to hear. Yeah. You raise fuck the blade, you. then drive it into your heart. You collapse to the floor, everything goes dark, and you die. Yeah. You're a genocidal maniac, you know yeah. that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see about that. Yeah, see you in hell, buddy. The Grey? What the fuck? Chapter 2. You're on a path in the woods. See? That wasn't so bad. And now we've got another chance to get to the bottom of things. Yeah. Bit by bit, we're starting to unravel this place. Yeah. There are so many more threads to pull oh, once you good. stop feeling. That's a little dark, buddy. <gasps> you feeling okay? I'm feeling nothing. And I like that just fine. Okay, then. He's not wrong. Sentimentality won't help us here. <laughs> we need scientific rigor. I love... I love the voices. So you've been here before. Of course you've been here before. What count is it this time? Two? It's our third. What gave it away? Oh, he knows. Your open discussions. You came around on that awful fast. Have you just been pretending to forget every time? Yeah. I'm afraid not. Whatever other versions of me you've met in those other lifetimes were just that. Other versions of me. I just wish I'd been the first. Oh. So you knew how all this worked. Why didn't you ever tell us? We could have used it to our advantage. Yeah, you douchebag. That's because there is no using it to your advantage. The more information you have, the harder it will be for you to succeed. Says you. It's not like it was that difficult to slay her last time. Yeah. She may have put up a fight, but her flesh is still softer than our blade. Okay, God, please. And now she's dead. <laughs> and I doubt she'll be able to do much of anything from the grave. You already slew her. And you survived. Yep. Yes. Yes. Then why, pray tell, are you here? I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening. Oh, I know that one. We killed ourselves. Oh, yeah. Why? Oh, you know. Because you thought trying to stuff us away in a corner for eternity was a suitable reward. Was it not? <laughs> what better reward is there than eternal bliss? You should have been happy. We weren't. Yeah. We were bored. Yeah. You were bored. I was just unhappy. That too. There were still answers that we needed to find. My detective. It was actually working. You killed yourself. I can't believe it. You ruined everything. Whoops. How does us dying ruin everything? What aren't you telling us? It just does. And I'm not telling you lots of things, but it's for your own good. Yeah, I it's know. It's for the good of everyone. 
I know you're not telling us a lot of things. It seems to me like keeping secrets didn't help you last time, so you should start talking. Yeah, you Fine. bastard. The world doesn't stay saved if you die. And if the world isn't saved, then that means she isn't dead. Oh, they need to keep us alive. So it doesn't reset. Oh, now isn't that interesting. I assumed she'd just be a pile of old bones. But perhaps she's not. There's only one way to find out. Let's try something different this time. We've already seen what happens when we slay her. Yeah. And I'm not convinced that's a way out for us. I'm not even convinced there is a world to save. Yeah, it's kind of getting weird now. Raining. It wasn't raining last time. Or the time before that. The whole path is different. Yes. Things are different, aren't they? Yeah. If this isn't the same path in the woods you're used to, that means that her influence is already spreading and you're running out of time. Oh, shit. Her influence? What's that supposed to mean? She's getting followers on TikTok. We gotta stab her. It means exactly what I said. Don't overthink it or you run the risk of making your task so much more difficult than it has to be. And what is that supposed to mean? <sighs> Forget I said anything. I've probably already made things worse, and I need to stop talking about this now before I definitely make things worse. Make them worse. Come on, tell us your secrets. Haven't we been through enough? Don't we deserve to know? Yeah. No. Okay. Is there a reason it would be raining? If there is, it doesn't matter. If a bit of rain is the best her influence can conjure, then we have nothing to worry about. A drink. Uh, what happens if we don't go to the cavern? She'll find a way out eventually and the world will still end. The only way this resolves is if you find her and slay her before that happens. We already know he wants us to slay her. Anything he says is tainted by his motivations. Yeah. Turn around and leave. Go to the cabin. <laughs> I'm fine with either. Okay, depression. So long as we don't just do the same thing again. That would be boring. And you wouldn't like me when I'm bored. Whatever happens next, it seems like all our answers in the, are in the cabin. We might as well see this through. <laughs> I'm done with this shit. Bye. Now let's continue. Let's see our I'm lovely sure princess. You've heard my words of warning in one of your past lives. Uh -huh. You've already managed to slay her once. Just don't muck it up this time, alright? Yeah, yeah. Actually, do I want to kill what her now? What we do is entirely up to us. Yeah, fuck off. No voices in my own. And we have all those mysteries to unravel. Isn't that right? Yeah. You aren't here to solve a mystery. You're here to save the world. I'm here to solve freaking mystery. It's a, it's a detective game now. That's what you say. But how can we be sure? We can't be sure of anything except what's right yeah. in front of us. Okay, but we should care about the fate of the world. No. Okay, fine. Why? <laughs> Why? Because because we should. I, I don't know. It's important. Is it? Yes. Oh, I think. <laughs> yeah, hero don't listen to God. Don't let them make you second guess yourself. The fate of the world is the most important thing there is. For all we know, the world you're talking about isn't even real. Yeah. Of course it's real. Where do you think you are? Somewhere else? Yes. Maybe we are. This is horribly unproductive. The cabin This is your extremely horribly destiny. unprofessional. Wait. I'll proceed. As soon as you enter the cabin, uh. you're struck by an overwhelming scent of decay, of mold and death and stagnant water. The once stately wooden building is bloated, its beams dripping with a black ooze of putrefaction, all but the exterior stone walls warped beyond recognition. It must have been beautiful once, but in its ruin, it is beyond repulsive. Great. But you're not alone. You can feel something watching you. Just feel? There is a figure faintly outlined against the rotting wood of the wall. Yeah, because I can freaking see her. Is that... Her. I think so. It's like she isn't even there. See? He killed her. You're right. 
Maybe she doesn't reset like us. She certainly doesn't look the same as she did last time. Yeah. Before you can make a move, oh. the figure is gone, vanishing behind the door on the far side of the room. A door at the end of the room, but there isn't a door. There's a mirror, that's it. Yeah, stupid. A mirror? Is this some kind of joke? Did you all plan this out before dying? There is no mirror. There's the door to the basement, the table, and the pristine blade. Huh. What? That's strange. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Maybe it's gone because we've already killed her with it. Yeah, dummy. But we had it with us when we died. And besides, everything else has reset. Why wouldn't the blade have reset too? Maybe it's because we've already explored that avenue. We've seen what happens when we slay her. Maybe this place has decided we don't need to try that again. I suppose it doesn't matter why the blade is gone, but you're going to have to find it if you're going to do this right. So why don't you march over to that door and make your way down to the basement? There is no freaking door! There's no door. Maybe the mirror isn't real. Maybe it is real, and he's lying through his teeth to stop us from looking into it. But it seems like whatever we want to do, our next step is on the other side of the room. You're clearly hallucinating, but I'd rather not get into it with you right now. The door to the basement is on the far side of the room, whether you can see it or not. Bro. You make your way to the Whoa. door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You must think you're looking at that mirror you mentioned <laughs> earlier, the one that doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open the door. It's so hazy. We should try and clean it off. Uh, wipe the mirror. You reach what? forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. The handle is just a little to your right, and a little down. I guess we really are crazy. Yeah, we can see it now. So much for our reflection. We didn't need to see ourselves anyway. I'm much more interested in seeing other things. Okay. No way left to go but down. Go oh, and the basement. The door to the basement grows oh, open. The air is foul and wet, so thick that you can almost feel it settle onto your skin in layers of grime. The stairs are coated with slimy algae, the wood rotted through in places, reeking of fetid vegetation. Is that how you pronounce it? Isn't it algae? Algae. A wispy figure watches you from the bottom of the stairs, face veiled in shadows, legs submerged up to her shins in dark waters. Wait, that's water? There is a wispy figure. There she is again. There she is. Barely. Right here. Right here. She's just an old memory. Your eyes lock for a brief moment. Then she vanishes around the corner. Sorry about last time. We good? We cool? You receive no response. Do you think she's upset with us? Oh, she... I don't like being here unarmed after what happened last time. I feel so... exposed. She doesn't seem fully there. I'm not sure she's even capable of being upset. You aren't helping. Are you scared of a little ghost? <laughs> What's she going to do? Look at us until we feel bad? She can look all she wants. It won't do anything. It don't. As you descend the final step, don't the form it. of the princess comes into view. A bloated body floating face down in slowly rising waters. Her wrist still bound to the wall by a heavy chain. This cell is a dark and isolated place, with not so much as a window to allow starlight to penetrate the gloom. Well, we did it. She did. See? She's dead. She's not just dead. It looks like she's been rotting. So killing her does stick. Mostly. But if she's dead, then what are we supposed to do? Yeah. We killed her, we killed ourselves, and now we're back here, so what the fuck you want me to do? She isn't dead. You clearly just believe she is. Her corpse is floating right in front <laughs> of us. You can stop it with the mind games. If she's dead, then do we even have to do anything? How can she be a threat to the world like this? Oh, she was a ghost at one time. Our oh. thoughts are cut short by the sound of a slamming door. What? And a clicking lock. You turn to see the shade Aye. of the princess 
staring down at you from the top of the stairs. So that's where the blade is. <laughs> so that's where it went. Her heart. And yet she isn't dead. She is dead. Have you never heard of a ghost before? <laughs> oh, for the love of... Can we not waste time arguing over the semantics of what is and isn't dead? Is she is right clearly conscious. Nice. She clearly just slammed the door on you, and she clearly has a weapon. Your pristine blade sticking out of her chest. This is extremely bad. Catastrophic, even. Maybe I can reason with her. Yeah, dead or not, what are we supposed to do about her? Slaying or destroying, if we want to be a little more death neutral. Death neutral. Seems off the table. Yeah, yeah what am I this supposed is to? tricky. But let's talk to her. See what kind of information she has that we don't. But she hasn't said anything. Are you sure she can talk like this? Hey lady, can you speak? Bold of you to come back here after what you did. Oh. Why did you close the door? But she doesn't answer your question. All she does is watch you in shadowed silence. Do you hear that trickling sound? Oh no. The water's rising, isn't it? Oh no. It is. And it's rising fast. Oh no, she's gonna drown us. Well, that's interesting. We've never drowned. That's before. not interesting. I wonder how it'll feel. I don't. I don't want to know. Bad, I bet. I don't think dying ever feels good. Yes, how astute. Dying is bad, and you should avoid it. How about you stop trying to talk to her and do something instead? Didn't they do like a research or something, and drowning was like at the top of the most painful ways to go? I don't want to experience that. Let me out. Are you trying to kill me? I'm going to drown. What's wrong with you? I only killed you after you killed me first. Oh, so we're even Stevens now. Pathetic. <laughs> well. The water is rising faster now. It's means flowing she's right. from some unseen place, and judging by the height of the algae on the stairs, it has no intention of stopping anytime soon. You feel it creeping up your back. So cold that it steals the very warmth from your flesh, leaving a smothering numbness in its place. You're not helping, narrator. Are you really just going to stand there and let yourself die? What the fuck you want me to do? Yeah, let's think. Where is it coming from? It's coming from some unseen place. Thanks. Does it really matter where it's coming from? Because I can feel it rising. I don't think we have much time to sleuth. Yes, it matters. Maybe we can find a way out. Maybe we can figure out a way to make this work. This is just a puzzle. Yeah, it's a it. puzzle mystery game. Some things aren't puzzles to be Shut solved. Shut up. Sometimes you're doomed from the start. Puzzle. Yes, most people are doomed. But in case you need reminding, everyone will be doomed forever unless you stop her. Oh. This is about last time. I'm sorry. Please, I'm begging. Uh, wish for the blade. The princess eyes you with a disaffected gaze as you rush up the stairs, but you don't make it past the first few steps. What? The door bursts open, a powerful Help. wave of water crashing down towards you. You're swept up in the flood. Your head slams into the basement wall. come to a moment later, suspended in darkness. Disorientated, only aware of the surface of the water and the emptiness above. And of course, of course. Princess, hovering above you, watching in silence as you struggle to stay afloat in the icy depths. There's no way out. Welp. It's so dark and cold, I think our limbs are slowing down. How much longer can we do this? Not long. Just keep breathing, we'll figure this out. It's a puzzle. Relax. Or we won't. It doesn't matter either way. But you don't have time to figure anything out. Something cold and clammy oh, no. wraps around your ankle. Oh no. You're dragged under, well. only able to take one last hopeful gulp of air before your head is plunged into the freezing depths. As you sink below the surface, then you, die. you see it. What the fuck? Or rather, you see her. <gasps> The body you found floating when oh. you first arrived, its hand is locked around your ankle, the heavy chains pulling you both down into the unfeeling, suffocating nothingness. Bloated. I get it. We shouldn't have killed her. Just get it away from us, please. 
The past is the past. There's no change in it. Yeah, I don't think there's can nothing to fix. anything. And there's not a lot we can do about the present either. Not unless we think like we should have been doing all along. I don't like thinking, okay? But there is no thinking. Thinking hurts my head. You desperately try to pull yourself back to the surface again, and again, and again. Your icy limbs flailing desperately against the grip of her rotting corpse. And all the while, her ghastly figure stares down at you, expressionless, as unfeeling as the weight around your head. I can see under your dress. Your heart is filled with water, the same your mind filled with blood. In the end, we're not so different. Oh. Yeah, grab her. But your lungs don't feel, no, nor will they ever. It's time for you to leave. Memories return. She's gone. Where did she go? Oh, we didn't die. Should Let's we go. Try and find her. Nah. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Relax. Of course, you're scared. This is the end for you. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. Fear? The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze. Silence as you reach. Oh my god, what happened? I'm all... Oh, I'll eat. Wait, do I have wings? You've withered. Well... Find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed. There's my beautiful babe. You're at the cabin. Approach. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. Oh. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. I see. Can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist, stupid. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. What there now? are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. Okay, then. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. No. -uh. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. 